I love murals, so I figured I'd show off some of what San Diego has to offer. The first mural is Smile, You're in San Diego. It was created by Pander Design Company, which is a team of artists and designers who like telling visual stories through graphic design and murals. This mural is in a parking lot, and during the week, it's pretty easy to pull in and snap a few photos. Don't forget to use their hashtag, happiness is calling, and the tags at Pander Design Company and at Visit San Diego. All of the general locations of all of these murals will be in the description box below. Right next to our first mural is a stunning grayscale one. Be humble, you are made of earth. Be noble, you are made of stars. The artist Trek Thunder Kelly, who operates out of Venice Beach, completed this mural in 2016. Often while driving by, you're more likely to find cars parked in front of this mural. It's huge, has a beautiful message, and worth checking out, especially if you're already there. This third one isn't as much of a mural as it is a nice spot to take a selfie or a really well coordinated photo. It's outside of Pigment, a home and garden store in North Park, which I absolutely adore. They have other locations that I like to frequent as well. In North Park, parking will be easy to come by and parking near Pigment will lead you to our next must-see mural that is one of my absolute favorites of this bunch. Located right off of Ray Street, you have Art Alexia. Art Alexia is a vibrant retail shop that specializes in the best Mexican gifts, art, home decor, and some gourmet foods. They also host cultural workshops and community events. Now this mural absolutely blew me away with the colors, vibrancy, and the life in it. Every time I look at this mural, I find something new that I love. This quickly led me to look up Shannon Fulton's work, and she has masterpieces all over San Diego. Her work will definitely be my next mural hunt. Shannon Fulton is a Californian-based illustrator with a knack for mural painting, lettering, and other playful curiosities, as she likes to describe. Playful is a great way to describe this mural. Our next mural is inside Art Alexia, and it's another beautiful Chan and Fulton original. It's beautiful, bold, and it's incredible how well everything flows together. Definitely visit both the shop and these two murals. Now this mural wasn't on the list of ones to visit for me, but it's around the corner from Murray Street and it stopped me dead in my tracks. Unfortunately, it won't be here for long. It reads, the first pride was a revolt against police brutality led by black and brown trans women. The artist is Peter Holby and I haven't been able to find his or her social media. The spot is the future home to Mabel's Gone Fishing, which I believe is to become a future bistro, oyster, and gin bar, which is very right up our alley. If you want more information, you can inquire at their website, and all that information is linked in the description. Aha! The good old greetings from San Diego. This mural makes you literally feel like you're in a postcard yourself. located in the less busy part of North Park. It's on the side of the brewery Belching Beaver and there's a small parking lot so if you want to drive by and grab a quick photo it's easy too. 
Greeting Store creates landmarks through public art using their classic large letter postcard style. They work with communities to create colorful murals featuring local landmarks, history, and culture. Their personal goal is to create murals in all 50 states, and so far they've accomplished 40 murals in 20 states. You can follow their journey on their website, the link is in the description, and don't forget to use their tag at Greetings Tour. There are plenty of murals in San Diego called Rainbow Walls if you look it up. This one is an entire building. Located off of University Avenue by an LA-based graffiti artist, Risk or Risky, this building is home to SDCBD. They have a small parking lot for customers, so street parking is a must, but not hard to come by. I also believe that this building doubles as a resident, so be mindful if you're out taking pictures by bright doorways. The mural was completed in 2019 as the doors to SDCBD opened in early 2020. The artist Risk has been doing this for over 30 years and is well known for his legendary graffiti and contemporary art. He had galleries all over the world and has painted the largest mural in Canada. The link to that video will also be in the description. The last mural I sought after was the Sea Walls mural by Ian Ross, who is a San Francisco based artist and is well known for his street art and in galleries. Artist for Oceans is founded by Pangea Sea Foundation through art and contemporary artists, they want to bring environmental issues that are facing our oceans to the public. The hope is to empower communities to drive environmental change for the oceans through science, education, and art. They have over 300 artists who are a part of the foundation and Ian Ross is one of them. Thank you for liking and watching this video. I hope it really inspires some people to go out and check out the amazing art of San Diego. And I'll see everyone on Wednesday.